The year is 1968 and Hot Wheels is born. The joy and love for cars can simply be purchased with a nice crisp one US dollar bill. And you wanna know what's the crazy thing? Even after more than 50 years, the price of a Hot Wheels car has remained at a nice swifty one dollar. How is that possible? Well, it all boils down to three main reasons. The removal of extra parts, the removal of metal bases on our cars, and the increase in fantasy castings released throughout the years. Let me explain. Firstly, let's focus on the budget cut aspects of things. Giving a car moving parts actually costs Hot Wheels more money to create. For example, those cars with opening hoods, yeah, those will actually cost Hot Wheels more money to manufacture for it to have moving parts. So the sad reality is a lot of these cars with moving parts fall victim to these budget cuts and no longer have moving parts. Some examples include my darling darling Dora 2 which used to have removable plastic surfboards but no longer has it nowadays. Instead, it's molded to the car body itself which totally sucks. Cause last time I could actually interchange the surfboards in between Dora 2 castings but now I can't do that anymore, which is really sad. There's many various examples out there, but I think out of all of them, the saddest one is probably this one right here. I think most of the new collectors don't know this casting. It's called the Invader. It actually went through two budget cuts. The first budget cut is when they removed the removable projectile. Yeah, the projectile, that long thing right there, you can actually shoot it out, shoot it out of the tank itself as a nice little shooting toy Hot Wheels cars. But now, it doesn't have that. In addition to that budget cut, Hot Wheels reduced the tank from having 6 wheels to just 4 wheels. That's right, it fell victim to the budget cut twice. And there's many more examples out there. They just This is just some of the ways that Hot Wheels has been able to keep their costs down by removing removable or moving parts. Secondly, Hot Wheels keeps their costs down by removing metal bases from Hot Wheels cars. I think it's safe to say that we all love metal bases. For example, on our Hot Wheels premium cars with metal bases, rubber tires, more details, they all feel really nice to hold in the head if you're a loose collector, of course. So you might be wondering, if metal base is actually a nicer thing, then why did Hot Wheels remove it? Well, that's because plastic is actually a much cheaper material than metal. So instead of Hot Wheels increasing the costs of Hot Wheels cars because of the rising costs of material, which is in this case metal, they instead opted to switch to giving some parts of their car, in this case the base, plastic parts. So yeah, it, I know it sucks that the cars feel cheaper, they are lighter, but in the end of the day, it, it keeps the car cheap. Now this last way that Hot Wheels keep their Hot Wheels cars down, the prices of their Hot Wheels cars down, is surprising. And it's all thanks to fantasy castings. I know most of you guys aren't really a fan of fantasy castings. I actually made a video of this the other day. Be sure to check it out. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check it out. Here is a rough breakdown of how this works. I think most of us collectors like to collect our JDMs, our Lamborghinis, our Audis, our muscle cars, right? Those are called licensed cars because they are based on real manufacturer cars. Although they are nice and all because they're based on real cars, it actually costs Hot Wheels more to make this because they have to pay royalties to these car companies. So to make things simple for this video, instead of one dollar, these licensed cars probably cost or is worth a dollar fifty cents. One dollar fifty cents. Well, that's not good. Hot Wheels aim to create their cars at only one dollar and not one dollar fifty. So what do they do? They offset the price with fantasy cars. Since fantasy cars don't need royalties to be paid, since the cars are made by Hot Wheels themselves, to simplify the video once again, it'll probably cost Hot Wheels just 50 cents to make these fantasy cars. So if we have a factory case of 64 cars, and we have half of them being licensed and the other half being fantasy castings, what does $1.50 and 50 cents average out to? That's right, they meet at $1, which is the price tag you see in your Walmart, one US dollar Hot Wheels cars. If that confuses you, basically the licensed car's expensiveness is cancelled off or balanced out by the cheaper, easier to produce fantasy cars. That's one of the main reasons that as collectors, we focus on the licensed cars because they're usually worth more. We don't really pay attention to fantasy cars because most of the time they look weird and they're not really 
something you see on the road. It's not something we can affiliate ourselves to. So yes, those are the three main uh, reasons or the three main ways Hot Wheels has been able to keep the prices of the cars at one US dollar. You know, the funny thing is that even though the quality of Hot Wheels cars has decreased over the years, you know, the removal of moving parts, cars not having metal bases anymore, and the increased number of fantasy castings out on the pegs, they've become more expensive in countries like here in Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Philippines, even in Europe, like in Belgium and I assume many other countries out there. Quality goes down but the price goes up. Because as the title of the video says, it's always been one US dollar in the USA. I don't know what's my man Joe Biden doing to keep the price of hot wheels down. But just for the US context, I hope you guys now learned and know how Hot Wheels has been able to maintain the one dollar price tag on your Hot Wheels cars. Anyways, that's it guys for today's video. I hope you guys found it informative, educative. You know, if you haven't subscribed to your boy D, now is the time. I like to make videos like this on all things like as cars. So if you have not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. Over 80% of the people who watch my videos are not even subscribed. So hey, come and subscribe and help me reach one step closer to a silver play button. Thank you. So yes, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Selamat po sa inyo lahat. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.